Life is very important. And why is life important? Because you need to live so that at least the future can be guaranteed. Because, um, of course, a living dog is better than a dead lion. Welcome to another wonderful edition of Review This Beautiful Day. My name is Ramsey Enoch, and joining me in the conversation today is Michael Ekene. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Ramsey. It's good to have you on it's review this here. morning. Um, let's talk about the incident of people slumming and dying. You know, some of that person slumped the first time. We've heard a situation whereby someone slumped at the cine, okay, mm. uh, during a hearing. And um, just yesterday, the controller general of the Nigeria Custom slumped the and deputy died. Controller general. Deputy controller, yeah. Mm. Deputy controller of the customs died, slumped and died yesterday. At the reps hearing, okay, mm. investigative hearing. You understand? So, um, what do you think about this? This is not putting Nigeria in a good light. Investigations need to be done, yeah. Mm. But then, don't you think um, investigating someone that is not in a good state, what can you get out of it? Is it that the House of Rep went too far? Or you feel the, the, the Deputy Controller General of the Customs didn't disclose his head condition? Or can you say it is trauma? Or maybe the psychological effect of the investigation that affected him that made him slumped and died? Um, first of all, I would, I would say um, may his gentle so rest in peace, late Andrew Essen. He's a deputy um, controller of the Nigerian Custom Service. He joined um, in 1989 and he rose to the rank of a deputy controller um, general of the NCS. It was probably his health status was not known by the National Assembly. This is a routine check that they usually do with NCS investigative report. How are you guys faring? How is it going? What are your activities? The National Assembly is not to, is not to be blamed because it was chaired by Mr. Bami Deleidowo, representing PDP the National Assembly, because they actually rushed him to, they gave an immediate meticulous effort to rescue him at the National Assembly Clinic. The health personnel were on check to actually take him out immediately because the, the investigative interview started and he asked for water asked for water and they saw how he struggled to even open the bottle water and someone aided him to do that and the next thing he slumped and he was rushed immediately to the um, National Assembly Clinic. They did not waste time because the head personnel were already there as they were checking him. He was pronounced dead immediately. So I feel the, the rigorous nature of the investigation was not what prompted that because for someone that has a heart complication, if you if you know you are at that fragile state, don't go for things. That's like that. it. Yeah. That's it. I, I wonder why someone would be going for that kind of investigation. Mm -hmm. And you with remember, tension, this with is tension, a thorough investigation with yeah. tension and pressure on you. The pressure. If you have, if you have, if, if you're having heart heart failure or your kidney is not that strong, because kidney failure and heart failure can happen at a time of and if intense, you have if, if you even yeah. have high blood pressure, absolutely high, high blood pressure can. Uh, high blood pressure can resort to that high because pressure it triggers, triggers it. It. yes yeah pressure triggers, triggers especially it. emotional and psychological pressure it triggers it so if you knew you're going to be stressed emotionally and psychologically why not send your subordinate that are uh, that are better held but that is like damage control because already he's dead that's that's like trying to pour water in a stone but um, um, he's gentle so rest in perfect peace but the way it is right now i i could remember someone in the National Assembly had that same issue sometimes back yeah. that he was rushed to and they were pressing him, mm -hmm. pressing him. I think he was resuscitated. He okay. was brought back to life mm -hmm. uh, at, he, in his own case. He didn't die. But then, um, if these things keep happening, is it proper or is it out of place for either the National House of uh, National Assembly, mm -hmm. okay, the Senate or the Rep, if they want to investigate any do thorough investigations mm. is it out of place to get the person checked and tested okay Very well. before that investigation has been carried out Very is well. it is it wrong or it's not it's not wrong it's it's actually right that they do a background a background medical checkup of the person that is about to be brought to because you are you, you are thinking from the confines of the comfort, comfortability of your office to face just like a panel of judges 
to decide your fate. Uh, and you know the tension that goes with it, just like when a student is going for scholarship examination with unknown faces, probably the white, the tension that comes with it is too so much, emotional and psychological um, um, stress. And if you're not in the best state of health, it's advised that you, you see your doctor, your doctor will have to check you and say, sir, the vulnerability of your, of your heart or susceptibility of your, of your heart not being that strong to take all this pressure, please don't go. Take, uh, send somebody else, send your PAs, send your assistant to do this. And, and also, so I, I, feel, I feel if the reps start taking, taking that in cognizance, the person who wants to bring for investigative purposes is the person in the right frame of health. Is this person very strong to face this part? I think those are things they should 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 look at before they even go ahead with the investigation. Because the pressure, the pressure was the pressure is much. Now he has died, and it's not a good one. He coughed and asked for water. That means there was too much pressure on him. You know, probably they were they were on the heap. Like, how have you guys been fair? And you know how. And he was maybe he he talked for a very long time. Yeah, probably because for him to. Uh, want water. The investigation was about to start at 1 p.m. Tuesday, yesterday. It, and it didn't even start. It didn't even start. And before then, before the incident. Like 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 I said, this this investigation is carried out in an atmosphere of pressure and tension. And somebody who is not healthy, of course, you get tense. Even a call. Effect. Just even yeah. a call yeah. that okay, you will be investigated. Put your documents together. Mm-hmm. That call alone that call can alone even trigger you, anything. You in emotion, especially in a situation whereby you have um, people who are doing things around you that you yeah. can't really vouch you for. Can vouch for because them. a lot of things happen in the Nigerian custom service. It could be impromptu. And it could be he impromptu. Wasn't he wasn't and prepared for <laughs> these are um, parastatas or agencies where uh, you need. Sometimes you'll be forced to succumb to certain things. Nigeria custom services. Nigeria oh custom my service. God, they confiscate a lot of goods coming in, coming in from the borders. And you know, you know, these deputy controllers and controllers are the ones in charge of those guys in the borders. Those boys are, are very, very liable and very uh, destined to report to their boss. They're very, very careful in terms of my boss is in the office. There has to be something that comes from my guard at the top. My has to get something. Top. So before you can, you know, put your keyboard in order and records in order they've summoned you pass so your test your the pressure was too much maybe it's something that we're supposed to do and you couldn't do before do the time before, for the time we, yeah. we, we, within the time frame all right uh well uh it's so unfortunate that um uh nigeria had to lost him uh where nigeria lost him it's unfortunate and um we want to say may his soul rest in peace but whatever it is i think uh, it's better to ascertain the health status of anyone that is to be investigated before the investigation goes on since this is not the first time it's happening uh, i feel it will be proper if anyone is being checked properly okay at least they have um, a clinic at the national assembly the people can be tested okay before they actually go for investigation and if we are in authority make sure you put your documents together all the time and walk and act and live ready in case this kind of investigation comes up that anytime, word any that day. word walk leave and act ready because we we all live in ready for heaven for rapture and also in your various offices make sure you live ready live ready because too the president could call you at any time anything come, come anything record. can happen just like just time. like efcc could come they could come. The police yeah. will come investigation. And what would you say? And they don't tell you. They don't, they don't, they don't you. tell you. They, they just take come. You they take, take you on the So make sure you're upright. That's why it's an investigation. Yeah, yeah, make sure you're upright in your dispositions. And in case you're engaging in, in illegal and illicit dealings, put your records right. And also, the, our lawmakers, our lawmakers should be also, also do background medical record of those they want to, you know, investigate. investigate. Because tensions and pressures that could warrant to sudden deaths are always in the circumstances. Yeah. All right, a minus one for the Nigeria Custom Service and we want to say may his soul rest in peace. This is going to be the size of the review for this morning. Thank you very much, Michael, okay. for Anytime. adding your voice to the conversation. Anytime. You're looking very sharp today, good. as always. Well, uh, what do you have to do? Just um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the notification button so that you will be informed, notified whenever vital informations are dropping on the channel. My name is Ramsey Enoch. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye for now.